What's up everybody? My name is Seth, aka Nubicle, and today we're gonna learn how to mod session in 2020. There's this website you want to go to, illusory.dev. I'll put the link for that in the description below. Um, and basically what you're gonna want to do is click on the Discord button, okay? That'll take you to their Discord and you just uh, join. From there, I've already in that, so I'm gonna close that out and pull it up on my Discord app. And once you're in the Discord, okay, here's what you wanna do. Over here on the left, you got all their channels. You wanna scroll down to Session Mods, no discussion, and click on the latest Session Mod Manager. Um, so yeah, once you're in the latest Session Mod Manager channel on their Discord, you wanna click on this GitHub link here. That's gonna bring up this page. Version 2.7.0 UI update, dark mode. I like the dark mode, easier on the eyes. And from here, you wanna go ahead and click on session, session Mod Manager Zip, and that'll download that. Um, it'll also go ahead and open it for you. I've already got it. I've already installed this, so I'll go ahead and delete that. Um, once you extract the folder, which you just right click, um, I've got 7-zip. If you got WinRAR, just go in here, extract files. Then you can you know, select whatever folder destination you want for that. And once you're in here, you want to go in and click the Session Mod Manager. Once you got the Session Mod Manager open, you want to go down here to the bottom right where it says Patch with Illusory Mod Unlocker. Click on that. It's going to play some music. You can turn that down right there and compatibility up to 4.24 so as we can see here let me go to my drive where my games are downloaded yours is probably under the c drive mine's on a second drive because i got more space over there you go to steam library steam apps common and then find the game folder this exe right here this isn't the one you want you want to go into session game binaries win64 and there's the real application you can hover over that and see the file version is 4.24 so this will work on this version of the game <clears throat> this folder is important we'll keep it open um, I've already patched it but what you want to do is go to open and then do the same thing navigate to your steam folder so mine is here yours is probably under C um, C steam library Steam apps, mine's under D. Steam apps, common, and then find the game folder. Same thing here, session game, binaries, win64. All right, and the exe is not gonna be there. You wanna select the win64 folder and then click patch. Now I've already patched it, so I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna X out of this, um, but you should see this file right here, dxgi.dll, show up in that folder if you patched it. And once you patch it, you should be good to mod the game. So let's go over the Session Mod Manager version 2.7.00 real quick and the features. Um, so this is your main window. You got two tabs here, main window and the asset store. And um, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to path to session. And if it's not already set up to this folder, um, click the three dots here and same thing just navigate to it um, so mine's the D drive steam library common and session and then click OK mine's already there so I'm gonna leave it alone it is working I was playing earlier let's see the other features you got reload available maps um, so if you've added some new maps um, from the asset store and they're not showing up you can hit this button and it'll reload um say you're on the their discord and they do have um maps here that they've created say you want to download one of those what you would do is just download the file have it on your hard drive and then go to import map from computer and then you just click this button and select wherever you saved it to and click import map and it should show up all right, um, what other features we got here? Game settings, I guess you can change the gravity. I haven't messed with that. Um, skip intro movie. 
I guess that just skips that little disclaimer that loads up at the beginning. Uh, you can set a limit on how many objects you can place. Texture replacer. That's more for like custom clothes and, and things like that, I believe. Um, I haven't messed with that too much. Uh, but on the Loosery Discord, they have a help channel. Uh, let's see where that is. Right here, under Illusory main channel, they have help. And these guys are really good. I don't post most in here, but I work. They're really good about getting back to you. Um, they're pretty dedicated team of coders. So shout out to Illusory tab. So let's look at Asset Store. So this is where you're going to get all your stuff, basically. Um, this has got your categories. So if you do all, you see there's decks, there's characters, there's maps, um, just about everything. So that's not very helpful. Um, say you want a map, just go ahead and find a map that you want to try. The SLS hanger, maybe. Also over here, you can filter by the authors. Um, you can filter by whether it's installed in your machine or not. You can refresh the assets. Um, and I would not recommend clicking all and then hitting refresh assets because it's probably going to take <laughs> a while. Um, there's lots of content that's being put up and more every day. Um, as you can see, some of this stuff came out in June. Some of it's been in May. I mean, there's always stuff coming out. Um, this button, the manage catalogs button here, it shows you what catalogs you have installed already that are active. So it looks like all these are on here. I'll show you catalogs. So over here on the illusory discord under session mods, there's a channel called catalogs and this has their paste bin links. Um, but as you saw in my mod manager here, <clears throat> a lot of these that are in the discord are already, they already come pre uh, activated on <clears throat> on the session mod manager excuse me so but if you have if you find anyone else's and you want to add them you just click add catalog like this and then paste in the URL and click confirm and that's it so we're gonna close that out um, so yeah let's let's get our map here what we do when we're doing SLS hanger let's get that one and we're gonna click install map and it'll start downloading successfully installed SLS hanger so once it does that you want to go back to your main window and there it is SLS hanger we're gonna load map and start session so it looks like it worked uh, here we are with SLS uh, hanger right that's what I downloaded as you can see I got the uh, spider-man character downloaded I think they also have Goku which uh, you all see in my gameplay later now I will note that um, anytime you want to load a map you do have to close the game and go out to the session mod manager and click on the map click load map and then start session again um, but it will work and uh, there's lots of good maps out there let's show you guys how to get a character as well go over here characters let's get Goku who doesn't like Goku install character all right it says it successfully replaced all the textures and go back and uh, let's go back to SLS hanger load map start session all right, guys, so that's how you mod session in 2020. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, if you stay tuned after this, there's going to be some gameplay from my live stream where I was figuring all this out um, and interacting with my followers over on my Twitch channel. Um, so, yeah, please like this video, share it so other people can get this knowledge, and uh, subscribe to my channel for more content on Skater XL, Session, and T Tony Hawk Pro Skater, the remake, when it comes out. And uh, if you want to come and watch me live playing games, it's at Nubicle on Twitch uh, with zeros. So thanks for tuning in and uh, enjoy the rest of the video. Peace out. Whatever. Um, we'll see how that goes, man. But that's kind of the plans right now. The internet is wild for sure.
I'm liking this barracks map, by the way. This gap. That was kind of sick. Let's see. I kind of got geeked out this morning, I'm not going to lie, because um, on my Skater XL versus Session video that I made, um, Jesse Lacroix, that's, he corrected me. He said, you almost said my name right, Jesse Lacroix, not Lacroix, like the water. Uh, but just the fact that he watched my video and commented on it, uh, you know, it geeked me out pretty hard, I'm not going to lie. So, I was like, I got to I gotta get in here and, and record this video today. Did a burial hill 360. Okay. So yeah, one more time. Help that out. But other than that, I mean, we're almost there. Hopefully, she'll go live. Ooh, ooh, okay. It might have been a little sketchy, but let's look at it. With the replay editor in this game, is that the free camera should be free, but I can only yes, go, Lord! I can only go so far. Hey, what's up, Acid Rain? Thanks for the follow, man. We appreciate you. I'm on my path to affiliate as well, trying to hit that, so thank you for that. Let me actually drop some stuff in the chat for y'all. So I do have other social oh, media. Oh, yeah. Chad, thank you for the donation, bro. That's my first donation. Wow. Look, that's a real smile. Thank you, man. That's awesome. That's like a little... It's like a little drug. I feel like a tingle. You're doing stuff to my body chemistry. Let's go. Let's go. Boom. 